So let me show you the Scorch Shot. Scorch Shot is just there as it being a purely harasser sort of flare gun. Because it pretty much does the same thing like Detonator, having some sort of like splash damage. However, you don't have to right click to detonate it. Well, you don't have a right click option to begin with anyway. Because upon impact, whether on a on a player or on the ground, it does uh, fire splash. I better watch this flank here. He was kind of going after... Not, no, not soldier, soldier's backing off there. Uh, damn it. We. Ouch! Okay, that was embarrassing, but... Anyway, uh, splash damage and all that stuff. It's very petty damage. I mean, you're relying on, first off, the base damage of that plus afterburn, which overall is weak. It's just meant there just to, you know, harass people with afterburn. That's all there is. Again, I'm just pretty much only going to use that once and probably never again. I do like it if I'm able to get up on that ledge to get those snipers, though. Alright, so what else do I want to say? Uh, sharpened vol volcano fragment. Alright, get this. You have your primary that does fire. You also have your flare guns that does fire. And now there's a melee that does fire as well. What the redundancy shit is that? Um, why, why? why? So on hit it engulfs them in flames and base damage is like 20% less, so... Do, do I need to say anything? No, not really. Um, another one is the third degree. Third degree is the exact same thing as the fire axe, except there's this mechanic of like, uh, when when players are connected via medi beams, you hit them all at once. So if you hit the medic, you'll also hit the patient as well. So there's that. Nothing really special. So you have like better melee options than that. Ah. And now he's rolling with the shotgun. In that case, he's probably going to kick my ass. Yeah. Hey, teleporter, let me get rid of that. At least before I die. And then last, we got the Neon Annihilator, which, if you like to be a pyro shark, to quote Germa, then you can do that. I mean, that that Neon Annihilator weapon is just, like, such a gimmick weapon that it makes me want to pee. Yeah. But... <laughs> but, yeah, um... It very situational weapon, where it really all depends on the map. If there's any kind of reliable, like, water spots. There. Jeez, dang soldier for being a pest. And yet, I'm the one that's supposed to be a pest. So yeah, it depends on, like, if the players is wet. Because if they're wet, then they get full crit. Nah. So yeah, it relies on, like, uh, any wet areas around the map, as well as, like, any liquid-based stuff that the, uh... I feel guilty for doing that. Um... So yeah, other liquid-based weapons, that can count for, like, wet as well. If they're, like, drenched in Gerardi or Mad Milk, that counts. But again, it's situational. Don't, 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 don't go for that. <laughs> Um, honestly, I don't know if there's, like, anything else to cover. Uh, I suppose we can, uh... Oh, actually, there is... There is one other weapon loadout that I can show you guys. Um, we'll just have to wait until, like, uh, the thing starts up again. da da da, -da. Ouch! My air blast is not strong enough. Must make it OP. I don't know. Yeah, I'm noticing that sniper's like going like all crazy up in the front there. When normally snipers shouldn't really be at the front as, as often. Five, 
Power class, yeah, he, yes, he is. <laughs> Kaga went in doubt, except there's a roll. Da. Ah. Anyway, there is one other weapon loadout that I did not show yet. And I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you guys. You know what? We might as well make this fun, okay? Yay! Fun time! Wee! Welcome to Pirate Land! Wee! <laughs> Here's where we have rainbows, lollipop, people are laughing, candy colored land, and I'm gonna stop doing that voice because it's probably scaring out of every last bit one of you. <laughs> Alright, so, uh,. Here's a cosmetic thing that came out during the Meet the Pyro shenanigans, Pyromania as it calls. Uh, here's the rain blower. Same exact thing as the flamethrower. It just has the cosmetic of, you know, like shooting rainbows and all that good stuff. No, medic! Oh god. Oh. Duh. <laughs> but yeah, it's the same exact thing. It's just a cosmetic look, you know, just being all cutesy and all that stuff. And lolly chop. Lolly Chop is the same exact thing as Fire Axe. So like I said, just all reskins and such. And when you're in when you automatically equip this, when you equip this, you're automatically in Pyroland. So they has this all candy colored walls and such. Everyone is laughing when it, when they're supposed to be in pain. Just <laughs> And whenever, like, players like Jeb and stuff, they don't turn into, like, you know, like, body parts. They turn into, like, gears and, like, toys and, like, balloons and all that cutesy stuff. It's probably gonna make you vomit, doesn't it? Seeing, like, all this crazy stuff. Uh, damn it. Oh, he was at 80 health. He outmaneuvered me, oh god. Sniper up there. Look at him, gonna have a jolly old time with that flog. Yay! Oh, just like Christmas morning. I, I agree. Yes, you know, there's snow out here. It feels just like Christmas. Merry Christmas! Except it's Halloween right now, so what the crap. Although it could be Nightmare Before Christmas. There's that in mind. Oh, hey. Oh god. You know, it could be difficult to handle actually just because the whole trumpet thing is like so large, it's like in your face and all that stuff. Again. Sentry. Can I meander around maybe? Actually I can. Well at least there's that. At least I made friends with the snipers. <laughs> yeah. They change it from like, if you're like, you're dominating someone, you're making best friends with somebody. And I think if there's a revenge, then I think you made an enemy or something? Some weird stuff like that. Alright, time for classes versus classes. So, against the scout, the scout is probably going to play smart and try to stay out of your flames, because he does have the option to pick any engagement range. Because he can go easily within and out of range due to his speed. And he'll just peck you apart so easily. That is, unless, however, if they do catch uh, flames like that, like I said, if you remember about Afterburn, they can whittle him down to half health easily, because, you know, he's a light class after all. Although, he does have the option to use the Mad Milk. Hell, even the Bonk Atomic Punch to negate his, uh, to negate the Afterburn. But in most scenarios, since he is very good at 1v1 situations, he's pretty much going to peck you apart. Now against a soldier, he has like rockets and shotguns, so since since they have since they shoot rockets, you're easy to reflect it, just like in that scenario. Since it was long range enough, I was able to take care of that quite nicely. Thought I heard a stab noise. I do hear ambassador. Hang on, I got gotcha. you. Ah, fuck! You know, I better have taken that bullet for the spy there and gotten away. 
Because after all, he does have that unusual hat. He's the most precious of all the players around here. So Soldier will sometimes have the advantage if he's at medium range uh, with use of his rockets, or, or especially his shotgun if he chose if he chose to. Um, it feels like he ha if he mainly has like higher ground and all that such. Pretty much the closer he is, the more harder it is in order to try to reflect his rockets. Ah. God damn it! Shoot by multiple everything. And that sentry is just like denying me hardcore right now. Uh, it makes me sad that there's like no medic right now. <laughs> well, nothing to do but. Yeah, auto scramble could be very nice right now. So, yeah, when timed right, you can reflect his rockets back. Try to analyze, like, whenever he does his shooting animation as well as his uh, reflect. Oh, nice. Oh. Um. I see no medic. Back to square one, I suppose. Anyway. See, so if you examine his uh, uh, firing and his uh, reloading animation, you might be able to time pretty well in terms of, like, reflecting it. It might be daunting at first to do reflects in general, but, you know, if, if, if you're starting from at least long, uh, medium range, you'll be able to reflect just fine, I suppose. Here, let me try something risky. Huh, there was something. Uh, dispenser? Do you have a dispenser? No, you do not, sir. I'm not going to get to that, get to that sentry there. I am going to deny you so hard. <laughs> Wait, what? It's not supposed to go over to this pallet game. Come on. Oh, jeez. Hang on, can I have some of this, please? I would like some of this, please. But yeah, in most scenario, if yeah, Soldier will switch his shotgun if rockets aren't going to work out. Uh, now it gets another pyro. This is rather odd. I mean, like again, in most like going up against the same class as you is like you know it all comes down to like you know better aim and all that stuff. Pyro is like weird, and again, like it's all about like out trying to outmaneuver him or like uh, somehow out damage him or something like that. However, there is one tactic that it can help when going up against these encounters. Try actually doing S mouse one instead of W mouse one. Let me jump out of the sniper's view here. I'm gonna go ahead and sneak around this way. If, uh, if I don't see a sentry around here. What? Oh, that was a nice shot. Mini sentry in that building. Okay. Good to know. Ah. This deteriorate him a little bit. So yeah, anyway, talking about... What the fuck? Sniper's body shotting. People are dying. I sculptures. Baxterina the frickin' bluefish. Ugh. I'm, I'm feeling like so disoriented right now. Oh shit. The control point is being contested. Oh. Damn it. Now yeah, let me go back into spawn here, I suppose. Or not. He's healed me. So anyway, talking about the uh, S mouse one here, uh, I say that because uh, due to the way how uh, fire uh, particles work, if you were to uh, let the enemy walk into your particles as you're walking backwards, it'll actually do more damage to them, rather than uh, the other way around. Oddly enough, it works. So if a pyro is coming right at you forward, well, go backward and, uh, you know, fire away, actually. So against the demo, since he's purely a uh, projectile-based class, because uh, of his explosives, because of his explosives, you do have the option to like push away sticky traps and all that. Hi there. 
You have the option to push away his sickies, and sometimes his sometimes his grenades as well. It's hard to like land back the hits with the grenades sometimes because you know it. it that the projectiles is, is in an arc versus the rocket where it goes in one straight direction. And typically, if you're within close range of him, he'll have a hard time trying to go up against you. But, you know, if he lands those pipes, well, then there's a different matter entirely. And if he can, like, like, like plan ahead of time where he's uh, placing his sticky so it'll make you walk into them. So keep those in mind. So against the heavy, heavy is going to out damage you no matter what. Like I said, he is the king of, like, close range. In that scenario, I was able to use Ambush to go after him, actually. Hopping over the rock like that. But yeah, he's far superior in close range than in, in you. So ambushing will often help out. Mostly you want to catch him when he's not revved up. That's pretty much the best way that you can do it. But even then, he has a hard, uh, hard, large health pool in order to help sustain the damage. So if you're able to like get him a crit in the back with the extinguisher, and all that stuff, I, I'm sure you might be able to, like, take care of him. But then again, if he's paired up with the medic, well then, well, you're shit out of luck, I'm afraid. Uh, now against an engineer, on a 1v1 sort of situation, he does have hit scan options, so think of him like the scout, except slower. He'll probably be wise as well to stay out of your, uh, out of your flames as well. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. But in terms of the sentry, yeah, you'll feel very much the same way like a scout. You're going to get pinned down and there's nothing you can do about it. So, like, what can you do about the sentry? Like, I mean, the very most that you can probably do is uh, try to reflect the sentry's rockets and aim them back at either the sentry or the NG itself. But yeah, like, once that sentry is there, there's not much you can do about it. You can try reflecting the sentry's rockets if you want to, but it's kind of, like, a lot of trouble. Although, uh, uh, you know what? Bring this out. Oh, wait, he's, for some reason, using that. Oh, well, yeah, at least he's, like, doing it, like, to help out. Okay, I was going to say, like, I would have used home record because that would have been a one-hit thing. And there's an awful lot of... Spy, uh, not spies, snipers on their team. So I need to try to like really maneuver about and try and do this. Whoops. Ah, damn. Yeah, I took too much damage overall anyway. Anyway, like I was saying, that uh, you do have at least the ability to actually uh. Actually, in regards to engineers' buildings, you are, your flames actually penetrate through the building. So if you were to actually get paired up uh, with uh, uh, getting Ubered and such, uh, you getting Ubered is not actually a bad idea because you'll be able to hit the engineer and the buildings at the same time when you do and so. So there's that. Against the medic, uh, medic has his own like healing mechanic, you know, like to a stand afterburn. But other than that, you should be able to like out damage him pretty easily if he was on his own. But when he's with the rest of his team, yeah, he'll most often be surrounded by teammates. So pick him, trying to pick him off is not uh, not gonna be all that easy. So those things with that with the medic here. So you're not often always aiming for the medic as much, since you know his teammates will do the killing for him and finish you off. Although you can be a dick and air blast Ubers away. So there's that at least. So snipers, snipers. Well, <laughs> they specialize in long range, you specialize in uh, close range. Sorry, specialize in close range? I'm sorry, that's the heavy, never mind. You do close range stuff most, uh, all the, pretty much the majority of the time. They do long range, so it's pretty clear that uh, they'll able to take care of you easily. So, which is why using any kind of flare gun would take care of them. Fun times. So yeah, try to use like your flare gun as a way of like harassing them. 
up. I don't know why I went around like that. Eh, sure, let me go ahead and... I'm not seeing much spies around here, so I might as well dequip this. And I apparently have something in my menu. What did I get? Hey, another sign! Yay! Signs are always neat. And of course, let's talk about spies. You are definitely the... pretty much the one class that can counter spies pretty easily. Now, to be fair, other classes have their own mechanics of revealing spies, but you, you with your flames, have that very readily available to uh, take care of spies, since they can't, since they're, they're since their uh, cloak and this disguise gets easily canceled out. Oh dear lord! Now it's two sentries, two freaking sentries! Oh my god! Considering that we have, like, one medic, I should probably go ahead and, like, stay around him so that he's building up Uber, at least. So, yeah, you'll be able to easily counter him so easily, but although he'll, he will try to use his revolver to gun you down, especially if he wants to stay safe and use range, he'll have the ambassador to take you out safely. And he also has Spicicle and Deadringer. You know, if like spy checks become a regular thing, he can he can do just that. Oh dear lord! And it looks like we're gonna get pushed back into spawn. And the one time I switch away from the home wrecker, that happens. Even then, the engineer should have been building back there. Mini sentry setup would have worked more better. Hang on, let me attempt to, like, do something weird. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Hmm. This is gonna be very smaltzy, but... I-I-I don't even know. Alright, I'm gonna wait for it to rotate. Oh, okay, the demo man got it. I was gonna say. <laughs> but that was pointless because we lost. Yeah, nothing else to say about Spy. That's all classes versus classes stuff. Yeah, so much for that. So yeah, there's really not much else to say. I pretty much covered everything. Um, like I said before, uh, I really didn't deteriorate you uh, too much from playing the Pyro class anyway. I mean... Again, still think about, like, the fun factor and all that stuff if you still want to go ahead and mess with this class about. I mean, like I said, I don't mind if anybody else plays. I don't mind if I play it. I mean, you know, something to screw around. Eh, and all that w weird stuff. So with that, that concludes the Pyro class. Um, hope you got some, some sort of enjoyment out of this, whether it being conflicting or not, but... So with that, let me give you a little parting gift. Balloon! And I said to blaze. Alright guys, see you guys next time.